Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use your SD to Vita as external storage. So you will need a few things for this video. You will need a micro SD card. I would recommend every SD card above 16 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte being the minimum. I probably wouldn't um, go below that. And I would actually recommend the SD to Vita that I will be using in this video. It's actually quite a high quality one and it fits all the way inside of the game um, slot. So none of the SD to Vita will be sticking out or anything like that. And I would also recommend using a USB to SD so you can connect your SD card to your PC really easily. So I'll leave a link in the description to this SD to Vita adapter if you guys wish to get it because it's very cheap and actually very high quality for what it is. Right guys, so on your PS Vita what you want to do is just open up Vita Shell. Press select and then connect your PS Vita to your PC via USB connection or FTP connection, it's entirely up to you. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, there will be three links in the description of this video. The first link that you will need to get is the TF card plugin tool. And basically guys, you can choose whichever um, version you want. I believe this one's Italian. So I'm just going to download the English version. Now I had to wait before making this video because there was actually a problem with the UMA0 um, and that's basically what I wanted to make the video on first. So this was fixed 11 hours ago so that's why I'm making it now. So once you've got the VPK the next thing you want to do is just get Win32 Disk Imager. You will need to install this on your PC but you just want to click download and it will begin downloading the .exe file. The next thing you want to get is just a zzblank.img so all you want to do is just click the download and then that will start downloading as well. So once you've got these three files just head over to your downloads folder and the first thing you will want to do is just install Win32 Disk Imager. So let me just show you, I've already actually got this installed. All you do is double click it, you know, accept, next, next, you, you guys get the idea. So I'm just going to exit the setup of that. So what you want to do now guys is just make sure your SD card is connected. Um, my one's right here, as you can see it's completely blank. Um, anything on your SD card you will want to back it up because we will be completely formatting it in this video. So all you want to do is open up your Win32 Disk Imager. I've got mine installed so I'm just going to open it up like this. So you go Win32 Disk Imager. So what you want to do is browse for your image file. So make sure that your um, SD card is selected here. As you can see, mine comes up as E, so I know mine's selected. Then you want to click the folder icon, go to your downloads folder and open the zzblank.image. So hash, make sure that is unknown, make sure this is unteched, and then just go to write. Things and say writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Um, are you sure you want to continue? Just do yes. It's then going to say write successful. And now what you do guys is take out your SD card, plug it back into your PC. And you will get this message from um, Windows saying, do you want to format it? What you want to do is just click format disk. It's then going to come up with the format USB drive options, select the full capacity, select, make sure you select XFAT and make sure you select default allocation size. You then just make sure quick format is on and just click start. Then just click OK. It's going to say format complete, close out of that. Now close out of this. If you get this message up twice, just click cancel on the second one. And now you can close out of Win32. So now if I just have a look at my SD card, if I right click, go to properties, you will see that it's on XFAT and it's exactly the right size and everything like that for the PS Vita. So now what you wanna do is just take out your SD card and you actually want to connect your PS Vita in um, the Vita shell connection. So here my PS Vita has just been connected and it's just come up here. So what you want to do, go back to your downloads folder, find the TF card plugin, right click and copy. And then all you want to do is just paste it on the root of your PS Vita's files, just so it looks exactly like this. Now all you want to do is disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. 
Right guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita, you just want to press circle on this message. And then what you want to do guys is go onto your UXO, scroll all the way down, and you want to just press X on the TF card plugin to install it. So just press X. So I'm going to say, are you sure you want to install? Make sure you have unsafe homebrew enabled in your settings and then press X for yes. And now it's just going to install. So once it's installed, just press circle to go back to the main menu. And now what you want to do is just take your USB adapter and take your SD card out of it. Get your SD to Vita adapter and then just put the SD card in. And now you can just put the SD card to Vita adapter into your PS Vita's game slot. And then you just want to press the home button and exit Vita shell. So you will find the new software on your home screen, the TF card plugin. So all you want to do is just press X and then press X on start. Okay, so we have a few options on here. Um, this is the option that I will be using for this video. So what this does is it changes my SD to Vita adapter into a UMA0 file. And basically what that is, is so I can basically use it as external storage. I can put like VPKs on there, uh, games on there, anything that I want to store on there, but it won't be my main memory card. And there is another option on here which changes that, so it makes SD to Vita your main memory card, and then it makes your main memory card UMA0. So I'll probably cover that in another video, because there is a few other steps you have to do for that one. But guys, for this one right here, what you want to do in this program, circle is sort of, you know, the enter button. So just press circle on the top option. It's then going to say your SD to Vita is now going to turn into your UMA0 backup, um, backup folder. Uh, would you like to proceed? Just press uh, circle for yes. It's then going to say operation check. Would you now like to reboot the device? So I'm just going to press circle. And your PS Vita is now going to reboot itself. So just give it a few seconds and it hopefully will reboot. So now we can just go on to it. Because we rebooted, we will need to open HN Core again. So just start that up. Now we can just exit it. Then we want to go back onto our Vita shell. And as you can see guys, it's working because UMA0 has appeared. And if you just have a look there, you can see that it's 14.56 gigabytes. And this is a 16 gigabyte SD card, so that sounds about right. And then if we go onto it, as you can see, system uh, volume, and um, it's got a trash file. We can basically just put any kind of VPK you want on here and you can install it. You can put games on here as well, but um, yeah, and you've still got your normal X uh, UXO file. Now guys, if you want to connect your external storage to your PC, what you want to do is just make sure you're on the main menu like this. You just press start um, on Vita shell, you scroll down, and where it says USB device, you can actually change this to um, SD to Vita. Then you just press start again. And now that's changed. So when you plug it into your PC and press select, it will open up SD to Vita instead of the normal memory card. You can always just change it back as well. It's really simple. So that is how you use your SD to Vita as external storage. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.